Hey y'all, this is great. I just worked this guy. He's a soda station in Washington State. Okay, I'm in Georgia. Long haul. He's QRP. Barely hearing. Listen. I'm not talking. There he is. CQ Soda. And he's Alpha India 7 Oscar Victor. You wouldn't believe everything I've got going on right now to be able to hear him. This is going to blow your mind when you see. Okay, I had to put my headphones on to work him, which is why I didn't film it. He's a ghost station. You know, when they're running four or five watts, that's tough. I'm using my doublet antenna. That's a 160 meter doublet. It's got a lot of gain at this band on 15 meters here because it's cut for 160. I hope that was not it, but you, you heard a little bit of it. Like I said, I put my headphones on to work him. The only reason I knew he was there was because of the Soda Watch 3 page, the Spot page. Um, I'll show you over here in case you've never seen one of my videos where I chase Soda. That's the page right there. So you see, and he's listed second from the top. See that? AI7 OV. 21303. Okay, let me get back over here to the radio and show you what I had to do to hear him. Because when I first dialed this up, this is what it sounded like to me. <laughs> now, can you imagine trying to pull that out with this? I got my power line noise going on, which power company finally called yesterday after a year and a half, so they will be getting somebody out here. They don't know when. They said we're struggling. But uh, that's what I got when I got here, okay? So, and then to make matters worse, somebody was just up the band talking. And so here's what I did. I went to the QRM eliminator to take care of the power line noise. Okay, and then over here on DSP, now I already had my digital noise reduction engaged right there. I never turn it off. It was at four. Could have probably run up a little bit, but I'll show you what I did. There he is. Contour. Boy, contour is your friend. I wound up at 2,000 hertz. I start there and go plus or minus. A lot of times 1,900 or 2,200 are the sweet spots. But I had him good at 2,000. What you're doing there is you're, you see the little graphic? Let me zoom in. See that graphic? What you're doing is you're scooping the audio frequency near where the peaks are in their voice, which their voice peaks are going to be around 24, 2500 uh, hertz. So you're scooping the noise out, and it helps them punch out. That contour is just magnificent. Mag easy for me to say. Magnificent. All right, so now you hear that? I'm glad you got to hear all that. And then for the icing on the cake, the VRF, variable pre-selector. Now what that's doing is, and I've got other videos about this, so I, I would encourage you to go watch videos when you see the subject of VRF or MU-tuning MU uh, pre-selector. That's not the mute tuning pre-selector. Uh, this radio comes with VRF built in. And then you see that little U. That's a funny U. That means mu dash T. Um, mu tuner. I have a couple over here external to the radio. That puts that on steroids. Okay, but those you pay extra for. What that is, is you got your bandpass filter. So for this band, it would be the bandpass filter is allowing in. Uh, let me move over here so you can see. The bandpass filter is allowing 21 megahertz to 21.450, right? Because that's our coverage for the 15 meter band. What a mute tuning or this particular pre selector, the uh, one built into the radio called VRF, variable RF, what it does is uh, narrows down your bandpass to even more narrow than the, than the bandpass filter. So instead of, you know, 
cramming 21 to 21.450 to 21 into the um, middle and later portion of the receiver, uh, we're narrowing, in fact, into even the, uh, the first mixer, if you're familiar with radio structure, before it ever even gets to the first mixer. After the antenna is the bandpass filters. Between the bandpass filter and the first IF, which with a super hitter dyne radio, that's where you're going to have your roofing filters uh, just after the first IF. Well, before that, between the bandpass filter and the first IF, you insert these narrow, very narrow uh, pre-selectors. And they're so narrow that you you need to adjust them to where you are within the band to what you want to hear. Now, I've shown some other videos, some little trickery I do with them to knock down noise and knock down QR Mary. In this case, I was using it to finish off that QR Mary. Let me do, undo everything and see if he's still in there. He's probably gone by now. The soda stations don't last that long. They don't stay in there that, that long per band. They only need four contacts. Problem is they hiked the a mountain and they're running QRP and sometimes it takes a little bit, but a lot of them, if they're racking up the contacts and they'll move up and down the various bands to give people at different ranges an opportunity. I've been waiting on that one to go to a higher frequency. Thankfully, 15 meters is open these days. See, listen to QRM. There you go, knock it out. That's why this is called a contest class uh, rig. Now, those of you with an FTDX-10 or especially an FTDX-101, you have similar capabilities. The only thing the 10 doesn't have is the variable pre-selector, but I will tell you the 10, the 10 is a boss. It'll get really, really tight in there, even, even with, with just its roofing filter uh, helping out. And then there's some, you know, if you watch my channel enough, you'll see all the other little tricks I throw in. Um, the thing about the features on these radios is don't get tunnel vision. Don't say, okay, this is for that. Combine things. You know, look look for the videos if you're into CW where I talk about the notch trick. You know, using a manual notch filter in CW. Combine a lot of different things, and then you even do better than what any one particular uh, function in your radio could do. But anyway, I wanted you to hear I don't even have contour on yet. There we go. That contour is an amazing feature. And then for CW, it has APF, which is also an amazing uh, feature, which is the same button, but I'm not in CW mode right now. See, audio peak filter. That's a very, very narrow filter that just wants to grab whatever uh, CW pitch you have set. Okay, well, I'm glad you got to see that, and I wanted you to see what it took for me to, to be able to pull that station out. I'll leave it focused on the DSP there. My channel is mostly operating techniques, and uh, I would say even beyond that, it's mostly situational. I get here, I'm trying to do something, and I go, hey, this is a good opportunity to show something. Okay, so that's what this channel is about. If you like that kind of content, consider supporting my channel. Hey, thanks again for watching. Okay, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you to the Patreon support team who bring you these videos. If you're watching a video now, it's because of what I call the long haulers. They've uh, joined through the Patreon program and supported this channel for a year and two and even more. Uh, those long haulers are what, you know, funds the channel enough that I can keep these videos coming. So, um, you know, I appreciate any, any level you can help though. Uh, there are three levels of support. You can find one that's comfortable for you if you like this type of content and want to see it continue. Uh, you can vote, as they say, vote with your wallet um, to help uh, offset the cost of doing this. To uh, join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And if you would, give the video a thumbs up, a like. That helps us out with YouTube's search algorithm and costs you nothing. And you're actually helping the channel uh, by doing that. And also consider subscribing to the channel. That helps as well. If you do subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video, usually two a week, occasionally a third. Um, and also, finally, if you would, please share the link to this video on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks again for watching, and 73 from N4HNH.